guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making some chocolate chip cookies and some fruitsicle um these are the molds for popsicle my husband and i we don't give our son um, processed sugar we don't want to give him too much processed sugar so we tend to give like natural fruit juices and fruitsicles without sugar so as you can see i have my mango and I just added a little bit of water so that it can be blended in between I'm using three different flavors um, so in between blends I washed um, the bullet blender but this first flavor is mango and then I have strawberries and then I have raspberry and blackberry mixed but we try to eliminate too much processed sugar because both sides of our family has diabetes and we are not inclined to pass it on to our kids nor ourselves so we kind of mind the sugar intake that we take and honestly this child has so much energy and he's really a picky eater so he don't eat fruits like that he would eat it puree or juiced and so i find it Doing this this way is gonna help him a little bit more and keep him cool because we're in the summer so the weather is like extremely hot so it will cool him down but yeah um for strawberries I use like about six whole strawberries um these are frozen and I just added the water and blend it as usual You guys should try this for your kids and for yourself um try to eliminate the amount of sweet that you take because fruits have natural are natural sweeteners um, some of them might be sour but you have natural sugars from fruits So I'm using a couple um, blackberry and some of the frozen raspberry and I give it a really really beautiful purple shade together. Um, these are so good. I still have them but I would have tasted <laughs> them when I give it to him. He didn't eat the entire thing. He's very weird with textures and stuff. Like today he would eat something and then tomorrow he don't like the texture and then the next day he would take it. So he's a very very funny eating person or a very very funny eater. So I was told he got it from me but I mean he goes with textures.
and that's it for the fruitsicle you guys can see i just left that so that it can be frozen and then when i took them out they look so good so vibrant summer colors and they were so tasty because you're getting the natural fruits you guys highly recommend you try them for your little ones on to the cookies so we're gonna preheat our oven 350 and we're gonna start with the mixture so in a bowl i just had to add a stick of butter and an egg because i'm using a pre-portion size betty cocker betty cooker what's her name i don't know but i'm using um cookie mix i mean i could have done that from scratch but hey you work smart not hard so I will do other cookies from scratch because I want to make this um, red velvet infused with white chocolate cookie. So I'll make that from scratch and show you guys. But for now, we're making regular Brett Betty Crocker, Cooker, whatever her name is, cookies. So we just combine those together. It looks like scrambled egg. That's fine. Um, I wasn't following instructions, but you know, that's fine, whatever. It still worked. Betty Crocker. See, I'm just showing you what you had to add. It's already portion size. This is one of the portion size. The cookie. And I just add it to the egg and butter mixture. And then I get my arm workout for today. I could have left it like this and made a crumble cookie, but So I'm using a large baking sh cookie sheet. Um, I was using the medium size and then I had to scrape it all off because the cookies were too close um, because I didn't realize I pick up the big cookie scoop instead of the small one. And I mean, my cookies still end up touching. So when I'm staking them off, they end up breaking, but all in all, it was still delicious. So I just scooped it on on the sheet. I made a dozen and I baked it for 17 minutes and it was really good and it's my son's favorite snack of all time and he keeps asking mommy is it cookie and it's the sweetest song ever and yeah that's it guys so thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video and I hope you try this for your kids bye